Here is your latest African news, Madagascar. Madagascar foils assassination bid on President Rajolina. Two Frenchmen and some locals are among several people arrested in Madagascar following a failed assassination attempt on President Andri Rajolina. Attorney General Berthine Razafia Rivoni said on Thursday the arrests took place on Tuesday as part of an investigation into an attack on state security. Razafia Rivoni, addressing reporters, also said the foiled plot included the killing and neutralization of senior political figures other than the president too. The extent of the plan, or how far advanced it was, was not immediately clear. Rajulina was sworn in as the president of the Indian Ocean Island country in 2019 after a hard-fought election and a constitutional court challenge from his rival. Ethiopia. Ethiopia celebrates second filling of dam. Thousands of Ethiopians gathered at Meskel Square in Addis Ababa on Thursday to celebrate the second filling of the Grand Ethiopian Renaissance Dam, G-E-R-D. Those joining the rally also made a show support for the Ethiopian military, while also denouncing rebels in the country's Tigray region. The dam has caused needless controversy, with Egypt and Sudan being in dispute with the building and the filling of it. The issue is due to be discussed by the UN Security Council. The demonstration, organized by the city administration of Addis Ababa, is the first public rally after the national election held in June. Mayor Adenek Abebe spoke at the rally congratulating Ethiopians' resolve at getting the dam refilled. Nigeria, tributes pour in for veteran Nigerian singer Sound Sultan. Nigerians, entertainers and fans have taken to social media to pay their condolences to the popular musician and actor Olan Rewaji Fasasi, popularly known as Sound Sultan. The 44-year-old died of throat cancer, unfortunately. Sound Sultan became a delight for Nigerians early in the 2000s with his debut song Jagbajantis. Following the success of the single, the singer went on to release other hit songs and also collaborated with some of his label mates. The ace musician remained relevant in the industry and in May 2020, he released his eighth album, Eighth World Wonder. He was buried in New Jersey in the United States on the same day he died, according to Muslim rights. Africa wide. Israel to join African Union as an observer. Israel is going to join once again as a member with observer status of the African Union, the foreign ministry has since announced. Israel's ambassador to Addis Ababa, Alai Alali Adamso, has submitted Israel's charter as an observer member to the African Union. Until 2002, Israel was an observer member of the Organization of African Unity until it was dissolved and replaced by the African Union. Israel has diplomatic relations with 46 of the 55 nations in the African Union. Israel has regulations, relations with 46 of the AU member states. Israel re-established relations with Guinea in 2016 and with Chad then in 2019. The foreign ministry said the development would allow for better collaboration on fighting the COVID-19 pandemic and on combating terrorism. The DRC. Conservationists urge Congo to reverse the pay-to-poach decision. Environmentalists in the Democratic Republic of Congo on Thursday urged the government to reverse a move to tax rather than forbid poaching, saying the move endangered millions in conservation funds. In a joint decision this month, the DRC's Environment and Finance Ministries said that killing, owning or selling protected species would be allowed on payment of a tax. It now costs $2.88 to kill a forest elephant, while the amount to kill, eat, or sell a mountain gorilla is $1.9. This decree does away with illegal trafficking of protected species and also does away with the crime of illegal trafficking of protected species, according to environmental conservationists. Environmentalists 
also argued that the comparatively low tax payments would create a profit incentive for poaching with elephant ivory commanding up to $600,000 per kilogram on the local market and a baby gorilla worth $100,000. Just this month, UNESCO's World Heritage Committee removed the DRC's vast Salonga National Park from a list of threatened sites, praising the conservation efforts, including for forest elephants and bonobo apes. Africa in the Olympics. Guinea reverses games exit after a rapid U-turn. Guinea's government has reversed its decision to withdraw from the Tokyo Olympics a day after saying its delegation should not attend the games, which officially open today. On Wednesday, so had issued a statement announcing Guinea's late withdrawal, which came with the small delegation yet to fly. The country cited the reason being the rise in cases of COVID-19 variants. The Guinean delegation features five competitors, one a piece in athletics, judo, wrestling, while two are swimmers. One of them, Maria Matore, is the first in action as she is due to race in the women's 100 meter breaststroke heats on Sunday, with judoka Mamo Samba is scheduled to compete on the following day after that. South Africa. South Africa loses to host Japan in opener. Japan edged past South Africa 1-0 in their main soccer opener in the Tokyo Olympics on Thursday. The match going ahead after enough South African players cleared the COVID-19 protocols before the game at an empty Tokyo stadium. Ban on African competitors continues. The ban on African athletes who refuse to alter their natural hormones is one of the many controversies regarding the Tokyo 2020 Olympics that continues to affect Africans' chances at gold. Following South African, Kenyan and Namibian athletes, now Niger athlete Ami Mato Saini has been targeted. It broke my heart when I was told I couldn't run my favorite 400 meter event because I had higher testosterone levels. She said in an email sent by her athletic federation in Niger. Let us know in the comments section below what you think about these bands that seem to be targeting African athletes. Make sure to catch our Africa in the Olympics segment for all the latest happenings in the Olympics, especially concerning Africa. Thank you so much for watching. Visit our YouTube channel Tuna Checky to watch our weekly news reports and our website at tunacheki.tv for all the latest news updates. You can directly support this new series by becoming our YouTube member or becoming a patron. And remember that Africa is watching. And please feel free to leave your suggestions, news tips or topics about Africa that you'd like us to explore.